After a disastrous month of December in which they picked up one point from four games and slipped from third to tenth in Liga, Saint Etienne were counting on a big improvement against Toulouse, who have also lost three of the last five games in the Championship. Johan Molo, on loan from Nancy, started for Lever, and it was his cross for Loïc Perrin in the 26th minute which saw Saint Etienne take the lead. Captain Perrin unmarked in the Toulouse area and nodding past Ali Ahamada for his first goal of the season. Two minutes later, the visitors drove forward. Serge Aurier picked out Emmanuel Riviere, who laid the ball back for Etienne Dido. His pinpoint effort crept past the helpless Stéphane Ruffier to make it one all. And Ruffier clearly not too pleased with himself. A neat touch from Riviere, and Ruffier unable to even get fingertips to Dido's attempt. The Toulouse midfielder also claiming his first goal of the campaign. Two minutes before half-time, Toulouse went in front, thanks to one of the finest goals you will see on this 20th day. Moussa Zizoko pounced on this loose ball and squared for Aurier, who thrashed past Ruffier with the outside of his right boot. The 20-year-old Ivorian, one of Ligue 1's rising stars, showing that he isn't afraid to have a go, and becoming the third player in the match to score his first goal of the season. How about this for a finish? Christophe Gaultier no doubt had words for his men as they came in 2-1 down at the break. In the 62nd minute, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang combined with Brandao, who had only just come on as a substitute. Aubameyang got the better of Steve Yago, and though Ahamada blocked his shot, Molo was perfectly placed to sweep home the rebound. The replay showing that Aubameyang was onside, as was Molo for that matter, in spite of Ahamada's protests. Molo with a goal and an assist, but it still wasn't enough to swing the game in Saint-Étienne's favour. 2 all, the final score.